morning of the Holy Mass. Accept most holy trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, forth we, we beseech, beseech you, o Lord, o Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration, streaming live from the sanctuary of St. Paul the Apostle. The priests and brothers of the Society of St. Paul offer this Mass for all your intentions, especially for the special intentions of Pope Francis, for the special intentions of our Superior General, Father Jose Valdir de Castro, SSP, for all doctors, nurses, health workers, medical practitioners, and all frontliners who are fighting COVID-19. For the special intentions of Julie Obilio Geronimo, Globo Asiatico Enterprises Incorporated, Jeffrey Porcalia, Tilly Villarete Domingo, Dr. Jomel Julian, Arian Elise Santos, Evangeline Reyes, Gresen Kunan and Family, Divine Agoncillo, Eric Espina and family, Vicky Manuel. For the thanksgiving of John Romeo and family. For the birthday thanksgiving of Zenaida Vilches, Napoleon Martinez, Christy Crisostomo, Menzi Santa Cruz Villanueva, Tony Rose de los Santos, Bernadette Tadeo, 
Dexter Hiliado. For the good health of Pedro Peña, Pilar Lagman, Luluquisin family, Kalalo family, Torres family, Mercado family, Bernal Crisostomo family, and Erasmo Competente. For the healing and recovery of Herbert Garong, Donna Levardo, Rosenda Inot, Jasmine Briel Casal, Jemeline Ruiz, Norma Cuevillas, Dr. Jojo Mercado, Elisa Israel, Elelito Robles, Luz Gumacal, Paul Vincent Ceblano, and those who are infected with COVID-19. We also pray for the eternal repose of Gertrude Spena, Corazon Ignacio Bajo, Jaime Luluquisim, Gregorio Calalo, Adela Ignacio, Jose Ignacio, Teodoro Ignacio, Dionisio Buenaflor, Enrique Denopra Jr., Silverio and Aristeo Baltasar, Araceli Tantoco, Francisco Gabriel Gonzalez, Cynthia Aparato Cabrera, Domingo and Soledad Haval, Asuncion Soriano, Felicitas de Terra Escartin, Rodolfo Dison, Carolino Serquina, Alicia Ombao, Reynaldo and Zenaida Kennedy, Perfecto and Teofilo Untalan, Carmelita Toledo, Francisca Florentino, Raymond Aranda, Maricres del Rosario, Felomino, Lonor, Victoria, Florio, and June Tadena, Siriaco, Pasita, Salvador, and Armando Hoxon, Father John Sareta, MSC, Roger Ahinto, Elsa Habagat, Ruben Ramos, Don Benildus Maria Maramba, and all the souls in purgatory, especially those who have died because of COVID-19, and for all your intentions offered through the Sambuhay TV Mass and those that are enrolled in the St. Paul Mass Association.
we also include in our prayers and intentions the eternal repose of the souls of Lydia Villa Pando and Nori Celian. We ask the intercession of Saint Camillus, on whose feast we also celebrate today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, done in what I have failed, failed to do, do. through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, Virgin all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who showed the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the days of Ahaz, king of Judah, son of Jotham, son of Hosea, Resin, king of Aram, and Pekah, king of Israel, son of Remaliah, went up to attack Jerusalem, but they were not able to conquer it. When the word came to the house of David that Aram was encamped in Ephraim, the heart of the king and the heart of the people trembled as the trees of the forest tremble in the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahaz, you and your son Sher Jashub, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool on the highway of the fuller's field, and say to him, Take care, you remain tranquil and do not fear. Let not your courage fail before these two storms of smoldering brands, the blazing anger of Resin and the Arameans, and the son of Remaliah, because of the mischief that Aram, Ephraim, and the son of Remaliah plots against you, saying, Let us go up and tear Judah asunder, make it our own by force, and appoint the son of Tabeel king there. Thus says the Lord, This shall not stand, it shall not be. Damascus is the capital of Aram, and Resin is the head of Damascus. Samaria is the capital of Ephraim, and Remaliah's son, the head of Samaria. But within sixty years and five, Ephraim shall be crushed, no longer a nation. Unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God upholds his city forever. 
God upholds his city forever. Great is the King, great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. God upholds his city forever. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles, renowned is he as a stronghold. God upholds his city forever. For lo, the kings assemble, they come on together. They also see and at once are stunned, terrified, routed. God upholds his city forever. Quaking Jesus them there, anguish like a woman's in labor, as though a wind from the east were shattering ships of Tarshish. God upholds his city forever. Alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done, since they had not repented. Woe to you, Saracen! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your meads had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and asses. But I tell you, it would be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the nether world. For if the mighty deeds had done in your meads had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Archbishop Fulton Sheen, or now Venerable Fulton Sheen, once said this, Only those who live by faith really know what is happening in the world. The great masses without faith are unconscious of the destructive processes going on because they have lost the vision of the heights from which they have fallen. What does he mean? Archbishop Fulton Sheen is telling us that we should not be forgetful we should always be conscious of where we are coming from. We should not forget the creation story, why we were exiled from paradise in the first place. The higher we soar, the most painful it is when we fall. So let us be humble, especially amidst agnosticism and godlessness in our world today. What seems to be a well-meaning advocacy ends up destroying the church, especially in the U.S. You know, even in our gospel reading today, we are reminded about how we are supposed to respond to Jesus' call to repentance. Why are they specially mentioned, these towns of Saracen, Bethsaida, and Capernaum? Because they hold a special place in the heart of our Lord. Saracen is where you can find the seat of Moses. Bethsaida is where the greatest miracle of the Lord, the multiplication of the Lord, the multiplication of the loaves and the fish happened. And then Capernaum is the place of Peter. And it is the favorite hangout of the Lord, his second town. Yet the Lord rebuked these towns. Not necessarily as an expression of anger, 
but a rebuke because they failed to respond promptly to the events that happened there. They were not able to appreciate the miracles, the good things that the Lord had done. So when the Lord said, Woe to you, Sorosin, Bethsaida, Capernaum, He is expressing His regret that these people did not recognize the beautiful things that He had done in their midst, right before their eyes. Para bagang naghihinayang ang Lord. Sayang, you missed up this opportunity. You could have readily repented with all the efforts that I have done for you. Even the sin cities of Tyre and Sidon and much more, Sodom and Gomorrah would have repented. With all the time that I spent, I've spent with you and all the efforts, pero patuloy pa rin kayong nagbulag-bulagan, nagbingi-bingian. This is part of the experiences of rejection of the Lord. The second is that as we go about our day-to-day life in this world, we need, to, we need to remember that there is no palakasan with God. There are no reserved seats in heaven. Once we come face-to-face with the Lord in His judgment, there is nothing that we can truly bring. Naked we came into this world, naked we're going to leave this world. We will not be judged according to how much we have accumulated or according to our prestige or power or positions in this world, but we will be judged according to our productivity, our fruitfulness. It is actually a performance evaluation if we have been good stewards in our everyday life. Indeed, this pandemic teaches us one thing, that everything is temporary, Life is short, death is sure, and the hour of death remains obscure. Nothing is permanent in this life. That's why we are so afraid. Death, at this point, does not discriminate. It is no respecter of power, of position, of title, or what you have. And so one thing that we need to do is to reestablish a relationship with the Lord. This is actually the call of the Lord, the call to repentance, to build treasures in heaven, to reflect on the last realities. Death, heaven, hell. Indeed, let us remember this Latin saying which says, Respice poste, omenem ties memento, memento mori. Look behind you. Remember that you are just but a man. Remember death or remember you will die. You know, it is said that we are going to live with this virus for the next two to three years. And so, we should know how to contend with it under the new normal. However, our gospel is telling us today that there is no more tomorrow but today that the best way to prepare for tomorrow is to do it today. That we should not postpone just like the people of Sorosin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum. Don't say someday or soon or time will come, but it is today. Now is the time for conversion. Now is the time for repentance. Because we often miss opportunities to do good and to witness to our faith. Always find time to do good. To end, I would like to leave us this prayer that was taught no less by the angel to the visionaries of Fatima. And it goes this way. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon for those who don't believe, who don't adore, who don't hope, and who don't love you. Let us remember, my dear brothers and sisters, that God always works wonders in our lives through His blessings and opportunities. So let us seize the day 
seize the opportunity to do good, to be always on the lookout to do good. Now is the time, not tomorrow. As we pray, My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. And I ask pardon for those who don't believe, who don't adore, who don't hope, and who don't love you. We stand for the prayers of the faithful. God is patient and aware of our miseries. Let us pray to Him to help us on the way of conversion and renewal. Our response is, Renew us, O Lord. Renew us, O Lord. That the Christian faithful may heed the call to faith and repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Renew us, O Lord. That God may give us the courage to, make, to commit ourselves to the liberation in Christ of all those imprisoned in their selfishness. Let us pray to the Lord. Renew us, O Lord. That those whose hearts are empty and cold may discover happiness in the love of God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Renew us, O Lord. That the sick in mind or body may attend permanent healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Renew us, O Lord. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Renew us, O Lord. God of compassion and love, hear the cries of the world trapped in suffering and sin, and set us free through Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of him and hence it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, be sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Camillus de Lelis, Blessed James Alberione, Blessed Timothy Giacardo, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus our Savior, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer During Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things 
because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. God, our Father, we come, we come to, to you in our need, need to ask, ask your protection against, against the COVID-19. COVID that has disturbed and even claimed lives. lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Camilos de Lelis, pray for us. Blessed James Alberione, pray for us. Blessed Timothy Jacardo. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you for celebrating the Eucharist with us. May you have a blessed day ahead. God bless you all. We now invite you to pray with us our devotional prayers. Invocations to Jesus Master Jesus Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, Draw everyone to your school. Jesus, Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of sanctity, make me your faithful imitator. Jesus, way, 
render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus, life, live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus, life, do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus, life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus, truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus, way, may I be example and model for souls. Jesus, life, may my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. Amen. Prayer to the Souls in Purgatory Lord Jesus Christ, King of glory, through the intercession of Mary and all the saints, free the souls of the faithful departed from the punishments of purgatory, and through the intercession of Saint Michael, standard bearer of the heavenly army, guide them to the holy light promised to Abraham and to his descendants. I offer you, Lord, sacrifices and prayers of praise. Accept them for these souls and admit them to eternal joy. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations, obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us.